questions thrown at him from the others included Lauren asking Muhammad why he didn't go home to Tunisia if he was so shocked at being lied to when he came to America. Lies, he claimed that centered on Danielle's criminal past, her financial woes and more. He didn't have a good answer for that, later saying that he had a good life, a job, money, a career in Tunisia never gave thought to coming to the US until Danielle came into the picture. Da da isn't that why it would have made sense to run away as fast as he could? For her part, Danielle only cried once, at the end of the hour-long part one, and when she was challenged by Melanie, as to why she didn't lock Muhammad out, after the first trip he took away from Ohio to meet up with women from social media, she had an interesting answer. She piled his clothes on the front stoop and wouldn't let him in the door, but Muhammad would call the police. As she said, I have ten police reports out on me. That put an end to that question for the rest of the evening? When the conversation turned to Powell and Russ, surprisingly, the consensus of the group was that the top police, but covered photos of her in Miami are no big deal, since they were taken for her modeling portfolio and essentially, part of a job. You know who was the biggest feminist in the group? Kyle. That's who. But when the question was asked about whether or not Powell should change her name for her career, or back to her Colombian last name, it split the group, with more of the men rather than the women taking sides with Russ about that. We learn that Russ and Pau are living separately, although he didn't say he was employed in Oklahoma. The marriage seems to be drifting. Melanie and Dever, as we saw in the season finale of the show, aired prior to the couple's tell-all, are happy he got his green card and are ready to get him student loans to start him on his way to a real career in the U.S.